Look at this. Look at this. We have ourselves a little pumpkin patch here at Bryan Elementary. Hey, hey, I have to brag on PTA just for a moment. I mean, they pulled out the stops. All the stops. And we have a wonderful little hiking trail here that is full of pumpkins. And yes, we're all going to get a chance to walk down the trail as long as weather permits and grab ourselves a pumpkin. And then we're going to take it back to the art room and we're going to do a little pumpkin painting. Yeah, a real live 3D pumpkin. We're going to paint a pumpkin, y'all. But yes, I wanted to just take a moment. Didn't they do a wonderful job? I just love it. I just love it. I love the outdoors. It's one of my favorite places to be. I love everything about the outdoors. Well, I can't say everything about the outdoors. I don't like mosquitoes. Oh, I hate mosquitoes. All of the mosquitoes were harmed during the recording of this video. <laughs> so after you grab your one pumpkin, be very careful with it. We don't want to drop it. And we're going to go ahead and meet back at the top. Make this loop all the way around the hiking trail and meet right back at the top of the trail. Now that we're back, let's go ahead and label our pumpkins. Oh my gosh, can I tell you, there are gonna be a ton of pumpkins, one for everybody. And if we don't have our name on it, <gasps> that would just be an awful, awful thing. So we're gonna grab a piece of tape, write your name, and then watch this. We're gonna put it kind of like a flag across our stem of our pumpkin. All right. All right, now that our name is on it, let's talk about these paint bottles. These paint bottles, oh my gosh, these things are awesome. So I filled them with different colors of paint. Um, on the pumpkin, some paints work better than others. You'll figure that out, but look, look. You screw the top off, and you don't even need a brush. It has the little applicator that makes all these wonderful little dots. Oh my gosh, this is gonna make painting a pumpkin too easy. I mean, just too easy. Just take your time, and you can put dots all across your pumpkin. And, and you know, they already have these little lines that goes down just naturally. I just decided to go with those lines, right? I'm just going to put lots of dots, dots, a lots of dots, ha <laughs> lots of dots, dots, lots of dots. So I do want to caution you, though. I do want to caution you. These are not markers, although they, they're kind of working like markers, right? But these are not markers. So the thing you would do to, like, make more marker color come out, you don't do with these. Right? We have to treat these like paint. So you know how you would press down with the marker a little harder to get the color to come out a little more. Yeah, don't don't do that. Don't do that. You know how maybe you would want to squeeze the bottle to get more paint to come out? Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. We have to treat this like paint. So like if you want more paint, if the color is not where you want it to be and it needs to be like maybe darker, then you have to wait for the dot to dry and put a second coat on top. Like, that's what you do for paint. You, you, you have to wait for that coat to dry and then reapply. And there you go. You have lots of dots. Lots, lots of dots. <laughs> and they look awesome, right? They look really cool. And it's so super simple. These bottles make it super easy, right? Love it. But let's say you didn't want dots. Well, we're going to have this little palette, right? And we're going to put just a little bit of paint in the palette wells is what it's called. And um, you can take, I don't know, three or four colors or something like that and then grab yourself a couple of brushes and then you can use the brushes and paint whatever design that you had in mind. As you see, I started with this little wavy line pattern. I'm just going to wave it all the way around. Remember, you're thinking in 3D now, in 3D, right? So I'm going to continue my 3D wavy line pattern 
all the way around and then I'm gonna start filling in uh, below that line. But keep in mind, we're not painting the whole bottom, right? We need to be able to let it sit somewhere and dry, right? Right? Yeah, yeah. So let's not put any paint on the bottom. Let's leave it bare to help facilitate the drying process. Ta-da! <laughs> awesome, right? Now, I do want to caution you, this is not permanent paint. So if you don't handle your pumpling correctly, carefully, it will flake off. Uh, this is what we're doing today, and I would like you now to go and have fun. 